seriously, spoilers for the most recent episode of Doctor Who. If you haven't seen it, go away! Alright, so, let's talk about Joe Martin's character of the Doctor, question mark. Um, I'll probably end up referring to her as Ruth. Um, I suppose I could call her Doctor, no, I can't, <laughs> I can't call her Doctor Ruth. Oh my god, I just realized that. No, that doesn't work. Uh, Ruth, let's go with that, because I need to distinguish her from everybody, from everything else. So, I'm going to do a little bit here, like what I did with the Master a little while ago, talking about where does this Master fit in, what are the options, what do I think. So, kind of the same deal here. This is, a, this is a much bigger monkey wrench, and in some ways it's a lot, I think, um, potentially easier to figure out what's going on, or at least easier to make some definitive... Uh, things, well, it can't be this. Because, as I said when I did the video on the Master, there are huge swaths of the Master's history that we just don't know. And we haven't seen, actually, most of the regenerations. Regenerations? My God. Regenerations of the Master. So we don't have a clear through line that we can follow. With the Doctor, it's not the same case. So, Ruth revealed as the Doctor has the TARDIS. The TARDIS looks like a phone box. Is not making use of a sonic screwdriver. And so, between these factors, lots of people are floating lots of ideas, and I'm gonna go over some of them. I have notes this time. And so, we're gonna go over some of the things that I've seen floated, and why I think some of those are more or less likely than others. Let's start with one that I keep seeing popping up. That is the idea that this Doctor actually predates any Doctor we've seen before. Meaning, this Doctor earlier than Hartnell, currently known as the First Doctor. I've seen this floated uh, in a number of places, and I think maybe the fact that uh, she didn't really seem to recognize the uh, sonic screwdriver, or at least she didn't take it seriously. I, I personally didn't read it as not realizing what it was, just more of a, why do you need that? And the Doctor has gone without it at more than a few occasions. But I think that might have been part of the reason. And also, like, people still latch on to that line that Missy had, I knew the Doctor back when he was a little girl, as if it was true. Like, we have absolutely no reason to believe that that was true. In fact, it's called into question and even immediately after she says it. Like, what? I don't know why people latch onto that. Anyways, I don't think this one is even a possibility. Here's why. The main reason is the TARDIS. The TARDIS is already the phone box. The reason the TARDIS is the phone box is because the doctor, William Hartnell's doctor, landed in 1963 London which is where it became a phone box for the first time, and then the, then the chameleon circuit got broke and it got stuck. It would have no reason to ever appear as a phone box at any point prior to them, him landing with Susan in London in the 60s. No reason whatsoever. So, if this is a doctor pre-Hartnell, why does the TARDIS look like that? Or for that matter, why does she have a TARDIS at all? Now, it's not impossible for the Doctor, at an earlier point from when he stole the TARDIS, to have had use of one in some way, but it seems iffy at best. And also, there's the regeneration issue. Because we have every single regeneration covered. And it was reasserted. It was originally established in Classic Who, and then it got reasserted in Time of the Doctor that... Every Doctor gets 13 goes. So, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. War Doctor, that brings us up to 9. And so, ninth Doctor actually brings us up to 10. Tenth Doctor counts for 2. Because he burned off regeneration when he caused the Metacrisis Doctor. And so, that brings us up to 12, which made 11 
Matt Smith, the final regeneration, and he was until the Time Lords granted him a new regeneration, a new regeneration set in Time of the Doctor. Now, the fact that the Time Lords were able to do that does mean there is some bending to be had here, but it just doesn't track with the Doctor in terms of his progression as a character, as an adventurer, to have had a whole ton of off-world adventures prior to Hartnell grabbing his granddaughter and a TARDIS and bolting. It just doesn't really track for me on a lot of levels. On a character level, on a logistical level, I don't think this one's very likely at all. And I think going that way would be very, very messy. So let's go with, I think, one of the more intriguing possibilities. So uh, I got to think, I got to come up with a quick way to sum this up because it involves a whole other subset of things that, like, I would need a whole other video to explain. So there is a fan theory um, that is referred to as Season 6B. And this has to do with what happened to the second Doctor after the end of the War Games. Because, if we want to get super technical about it, the regeneration of the second Doctor into the third Doctor is the only one that we didn't actually see happen. Because if you don't know your classic Who super well, at the end of the War Games, the second Doctor, he was going to have a regeneration forced by the Time Lords, and Patrick Troughton kind of falls back into darkness, And but we don't see the regeneration. He just stumbles out of the TARDIS as John Pertwee at the start of the next season. Now, Season 6B basically postulates that the between the Dime Lords taking the Doctor and them actually, may, actually executing his sentence of forced regeneration, that there was a gap in there during which the second Doctor actually worked for the Time Lords, basically in an effort to stall his sentence for as long as he possibly could. This is actually backed up by some official um, licensed stuff, but not definitively by any of the shows. It's stuff that's been affirmed in comics, novels, I think there might have been an audio or two that kind of fit into this. The only thing that feels like it at all fits into it is the episode The Two Doctors, um, in which Patrick Troughton and his companion Jamie appeared. And the and it's not referenced explicitly that this is what's going on in that episode, but it's part of the fan theory, and it's about the one piece of in-show evidence, because it would account for the fact why the Doctor and Jamie look older than they should, and why the Doctor is working for the Time Lords when he's frigging terrified of them. So, if we go with the theory of there being a Season 6B, if we take that on board initially, that would actually fit a couple of things. Because if we accept that as a reality, that's actually a whole ton of time that a lot of things could happen. Including regenerations that maybe weren't the forced regeneration that the Time Lords were planning. Maybe something just happened and the Doctor had to regenerate. It would explain why the Doctor is like claims to have worked for Gat, this other Gallifreyan. That would explain that connection. We do still run into the um, issue of the limitation of the number of regenerations, but if this occurred during a time when the Doctor was working directly with the Time Lords, they might have had ways of basically having this not count, because as we know, they can grant whole new regeneration cycles, so they may have had ways of basically granting this little extra go because the Doctor was working for them. And then, if we extrapolate this theory, if Ruth is the Doctor having run away, they take the Doctor back and then just execute the sentence and stick him into his into his third regeneration. So that's not a bad theory. I'm not sure how likely it is because the that's kind of a deep cut lore wise, especially because it leans really heavily on classic. While New Era Who is very quick to borrow things like monsters and whatnot, um 
from classic era Doctor Who. They don't do a ton of deep lore dives because they know a lot of people who watch modern era Doctor Who don't watch classic era Doctor Who, or they haven't watched all of it and don't know it as well as they know the new stuff. That's actually the case with me. I'm still working my way through a lot of the classic stuff. So I think for that reason, they'd be remiss to dig into something as that's as much of a deep cut as season 6B is. That said, possible. So other than that, I, I think the main thing to establish, and this seems very clear to me, between the fact that neither Doctor recognizes the other and Gat's reaction being, this shouldn't be happening, something is going wrong. I feel like that was a very deliberate plant, that something is wrong. This is not just normal course of events. Now, and, and like the whole way it feels is that it's more than just the Doctor's memory is wonky. Like something is wrong with time. That's the sense that I get. I've seen some people float the possibility that this isn't actually the Doctor and it's just someone who has the same mantle or took the mantle. I've seen some people even float that it's Susan. I don't think any of that tracks. Um, and I think that's why that was very deliberate in that episode where they started saying their lines together that they're like, same brain. It was to establish as quickly as they could that this is the same doctor. This is the same person. We're not dealing with someone else who's just saying it. So I think that needs to not even really be on the table. So as far as what, and this is kind of what I talked about in the episode itself, I think we're dealing with some sort of split timeline or alternate universe sort of sort of deal. And there's a number of ways that that might end up manifesting. And also, I, I kind of want to point out, I feel like this series is kind of leaning that way already. I mean, we had the Cassavans, Cassavans? Cass I, whatever they were, in um, Spyfall, which came from another place in time. We seem to have already planted the idea of things going on outside of the normal course of time and space. So if we're already dealing with that sort of thing, would it be that big of a leap that this is some kind of doctor who is from an alternate dimension, a parallel universe, or that something happened whether it was when Capaldi regenerated or it could have even been before that. It could have been honestly, when Smith regenerated into Capaldi, because that was the big anomalous one, that was huge energy because it was something that doesn't normally happen. Could that have resulted in a split in another version of the Doctor also regenerating just at a different time? The one sort of hiccup in my notion that that might be the case is where'd she get her own TARDIS if that's the case, which would lean it a bit more towards alternate dimension, alternate reality sort of thing, because she's got to pick up her own TARDIS from somewhere. And if it is just a split on a regeneration, well, the Doctor we know has the TARDIS, so where'd she get one? That said, there also I also feel like I should mention the possibility. I don't think I believe it, but I'll throw it out there. I mentioned the Metacrisis Doctor earlier, so that is the duplicate of David Tennant that was created in Journey's End. That is on the parallel dimension in Pete's world with Rose. And what was established was he only had one heart. He's half human. He will age. He will die. He won't regenerate. So they say that, but what if he found a way to be able to regenerate? What if he figured out some way to get that working again? And this is a later regeneration off of the Metacrisis Doctor. I'm not sure that's super likely. If for no other reason, then I still very firmly believe a big part of the reason they created the Metacrisis Doctor at all is to be able, at a later date, bring back David Tennant and account for the fact that he's aged so much. They'll bring back the Metacrisis Doctor because it was established that, that one's going to age. So until they pay off that, I don't see them doing anything like he ends up getting his own regenerations. But I wanted to throw that out there, at least as a as a notion, as a possibility. Um, I've, I've complained about this being a possibility before. There's 
There's the issue of the Cartmel master plan, which is another thing that I would have to devote a whole video to, but I just don't wanna. Um, this was something that was, the groundwork was being laid for at the tail end of the Seventh Doctor, the tail end of Sylvester McCoy's era before classic Doctor Who went on its very lengthy hiatus. This idea that the Doctor was what is known as the other, because the beginning of the Time Lords um, basically existing, not Gallifreyans, they just live on the planet, but like of Time Lord society, of them having that ability to manipulate time, came down to Rassilon and Omega. But there was going to be introduced this idea that there was a third, there was an other, and it was part of the plan to have that eventually be revealed to be the Doctor. Now, I always hated this idea, I always thought it was terrible, and I'm really glad it never got executed on. But I wouldn't put it past them to at least have it in the mix as a possibility that this version of the Doctor, whatever she is, somehow ties into that. Because, like I said, maybe that's too much of a deep cut of classic Who lore, but it's also the kind of thing that, given that Rassilon has already been reintroduced, still waiting on Omega, they'll get around to it eventually. They better. Um, but I don't think the concept of the other is as hard a thing to explain. It's not as, um, uh, it's not as continuity nitpicky as something like Season 6B. I don't want that to be the case, but I just kind of felt the need to, to toss it out there. And also, like, I do have to wonder if this is related to this new master, because we did have the question, where'd the new master come from? Now, like I said when I did that video, there's a lot more possibilities that we can look at with that, because we have all these gaps in the master's timeline that we don't have with the doctor's timeline, at least in terms of where regenerations occurred. I mean, there's a lot of gaps in the doctor's timeline, but regenerations pretty well tracked. And because of that, you know, when I did my vi video talking about where does the master fit in, I do have to now wonder if we are dealing with some sort of split time or alternate universe or other dimension or what have you, is that where this master came from also? Which would be a way to sort of skirt around answering the issue of where in the regenerations does he come from? Does he follow on from Missy? Because no one's supposed to be able to. So that, I wouldn't be shocked to find out that these these two are kind of linked. And I expect them facing off against each other to be part of the finale. The finale's gonna have a lot of stuff to cover because it's gonna have that, most likely, still needing to be wrapped up, plus whatever the heck the lone Cyberman is. Plus, Jack has to come back, because, yes, that must happen. But, the new Doctor, possibly, or an alternate Doctor, whatever it is that's going on, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this? Whatever they are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. If you wish to support me, I have a Patreon, of course. I also have a PayPal tip jar. And even if you are not able to help me out in that way, which I immensely appreciate. There's still like, subscribe, those help a lot, social media, links for all that stuff's down below, but you also don't have to, because end of the day, you're the council, I'm just running the meetings, and until next time, this council is adjourned.